A circle is one of the most basic objects you can create. To draw a circle, on the Home ribbon, in the Draw panel, click the Circle tool. Notice that if you expand the Circle Split button, you can see that there are a number of different ways in which you can create circles. If you pause your cursor over one of these methods, you see a tooltip describing that option. The tooltip also shows you that the name of the command in each case is circle. Each method simply pre-selects some of the possible circle command options. Let's look at the center radius method. When you click the circle by center radius option, the program prompts you to specify the center point for the circle. In the command window, you can see that the circle command has several options. You can pick the point where you would like the center of the circle to be located, or you could type in the coordinate location. By pressing the tab key, you can toggle between the X coordinate location and the Y coordinate location. Remember that the program uses a Cartesian coordinate system of X and Y coordinates, and when working in 3D, of X, Y, and Z coordinates. So you can position the center of the circle. Type 5 in the X coordinate field, then press the Tab key to switch to the other field, and type 6 to specify the location in the Y direction. When you press the Tab key again, it locks in that value. To finalize the selection of that point, press the Enter key. Once you specify the center of the circle, the program prompts you to specify the radius. The radius can also be specified by picking points or typing the radius value. Suppose you want the radius to be exactly 0.75. Type that value and then press Enter to create the circle. Repeat the command by pressing the spacebar. This time, pick the location for the center of the circle. Then, you can simply move the cursor and click to specify a new radius. But before you do that, look at the command line. Notice that the program is prompting you to specify the radius of the circle. You also have the option of specifying the diameter of the circle. But there is also a default value. The program remembers the radius of the previous circle and displays that value as the default. So if you want to create another circle of the exact same size, you can simply press Enter to accept that default value. Press the spacebar to repeat the command again, pick the center point, and then enter a new radius of 1.25. Then, if you start the command again, after you specify the center point, now the command shows you the radius of the most recent circle, in this case 1.25, as the new default value. Start the circle command again, but this time choose the center diameter method. Again, the program prompts you to specify the center of the circle. But notice that this time, after you select the center point, the command prompts you to specify the diameter of the circle rather than the radius. In the drawing window, you can see the diameter and the default value is now 2.5. That is the diameter value of the last circle you created. So the program still remembers the size of the previous circle, and offers it as the default value for the new circle. But since you specified that you wanted to create the circle based on its diameter instead of its radius, it has now converted the default into a diameter value. If you look carefully in the command line, you can see exactly what happened. The previous circle had a radius of 1.25. Selecting the center diameter method in the ribbon automatically chose the diameter option. You can see the letter D 
right there on the command line. So the prompt changed to specify diameter and the new default value appears as the diameter value. If you press the enter key, you create a circle of the same size as the previous circle. Start the command again by pressing the spacebar and then specify the center of the circle. But notice that the command has gone back to prompting you to specify the radius of the circle. If you want to specify the diameter instead, you can click to select the diameter option, type the letter D, or right click and choose diameter from the shortcut menu, or with dynamic input enabled, you can press the down arrow and choose diameter. Then you can specify the diameter of the circle.